On today's show, Save the Horses holds a fundraiser, and later we attend an open house for the Highway 20 West widening project. Studio for Sight starts now. Studio for Sight is brought to you in part by Cummings for Sight Chamber of Commerce, creating a climate for growth and success in our community. Pinecrest Academy, a national 2014 Blue Ribbon School and 2014 Catholic Education Honor Roll School of Excellence. I consider the chamber as the voice of uh, business. It's really designed to keep its hand on the pulse of the county. And I think it helps the community grow. They've always been there for me every time I needed to help. The chamber is making sure that they're able to communicate. When I call, I get a response. But the biggest thing for me is... The chamber really focuses on helping small businesses. Welcome inside Studio for Scythe, I'm Kayla Robbins. Deck the Stalls is the last fundraiser of the year for local animal rescue group Save the Horses. During the event, the nonprofit holds several activities for the whole family, from rides to games and even a kissing booth with dwarf horses. Let's check it out. We are at Deck the Stalls at Save the Horses, and this is one of our annual fundraisers. This is our last fundraiser of the year, and we are raising money to um, help rescue and support animals in the area. We have pony rides, we have games, we have um, a kissing booth with dwarf horses. Which is what we're standing in right now. Uh, we have gingerbread building, we have vendors, we have food and sweets, and we have live music and lots of fun for the whole family. I think it's pretty fun because because these animals are like the cutest things in the world and I just love to hang with them all day. Usually they really like, usually they say they're adorable or they love them or they like just want to take them home or something they like that. They can't believe how small they are and that they're so cute. I, I think it's very important, this is the um, only really large animal rescue in the area and we do so much more for the community than rescue animals. We provide um, entertainment. And, well we do, we do entertainment. We have services for foster kids in the area. Um, it's a very therapeutic place. It's a great place for people to come out and just hang out and um, get to meet other people with similar interests. So. Um, and people just love coming here and sharing in. Whether they are a horse type mentality or they just are interested in helping animals or interested in helping people because we do we do work with foster kids and um, other therapeutic groups. So um, we every the second Saturday of every month we have a volunteer orientation where we train people uh, about what we do in more detail and teach them about what they can do more to help us. One of our little catchphrases is, is we're a horse rescue but we're also a human rescue. We, there's so many people that come through here that just are looking for something and they find it here. Pinecrest Academy is a private pre-K through 12th grade Catholic school and our mission is crystal clear. To form our students into Christian leaders who will transform society. Thank you for considering our school as a partner in the development of your gifts from God. Welcome back. The Georgia Department of Transportation held an open house for the proposed construction project on State Route 20 from coming to Canton and gave the public an opportunity to see what the options are. Let's take a look. We're here showing the public what our proposed improvements are along State Route 20 from 575 to just the side of Cumberland. We are looking at starting to purchase right away in June of 2017 and construction will start in June of 2019. This is our fourth round of public meetings where we have come and shown the public what we've been looking at and we are coming back tonight to show them that we have heard them and that we are actually going to widen State Route 20 on the existing alignment and not do any localized bypasses. State Route 20 is an arterial and it serves county to county and across state traffic volumes. We need to improve mobility, shorten trip times, and reduce congestion on this corridor, which is why we're going to widen State Route 20. Thank you for watching today's episode of Studio for Scythe. From everyone here for Scythe County News, I'm Kayla Robbins. Have a great night. We'll see you back on Friday.